Hi Ail, you are very welcome to the series of video casts in relation to our work here at Jerry on the Semantic Web. I would like to ask you some questions pertaining to that work here. But before we get down to the nitty gritty of things, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm Ail Oren, I'm originally from Israel. Uh, I've lived all my life in the Netherlands and I came here to Galway in Ireland uh, around three years ago. And I'm still getting used to the rain, but it's getting better. I would like you to enlighten us in the matters of the <laughs> web. Surely since the beginning of time, it's the nature of all living things, and indeed living language, to develop and grow, adding layer to existing layer. Is this what the semantic web is about? A new layer? Yeah, you can definitely. You, you, you should see the semantic web as a layer on top of the existing web. So what the web does, the web is a great communication infrastructure. And the web allows everybody anywhere in the world to read information that other people put up. And so I can read my newspaper in Holland, sitting here in Ireland, and people in Boston can read the Galway Advertiser and so on. So everybody can connect to everything online. Uh, but what we want to achieve as well is that the computer can go online for us and find information for us so that I can just ask him uh, who of my friends uh, is currently visiting a town close to Galway or you know which of which of the people I work with uh, will be in Boston as well next week because I'm going there and so what we need is a is a layer on top of the current web that the computer can understand so if you write a blog post saying I'm going off to Boston next week I can read that myself and, and figure out that we can meet maybe but I can't tell my computer to read your blog post because he doesn't understand that English. And so what we want is that you can also put a layer on top of your blog post that my machine can understand. So I will read the normal blog and my machine will read this extra layer and then my machine can tell me Ina is going to be in Boston next week, maybe you want to meet her. The web is a connection of data and a connection of people. Surely this is the way of the 21st century. What's your opinion of this? So the web originally was always meant to connect people, to let people work together. So when I want to talk to you, we want to achieve something. And when I, when I communicate with you over the web, we want to achieve something. I put something online so that you can read it, so you can do something with it. We always want to bring people together. But sometimes you can bring people together in a more efficient way by bringing data together. So if I if, I, if I'm looking, like in this example of Craigslist, right? in the end what I want is to live somewhere. And what I want is to connect with somebody who has a place on offer. But I can be, this, this work for me can be much easier if we can connect the data of the person who is offering an apartment, the person who knows which are the good locations, and so on. I could also go, go and ask my friend who lives in San Francisco, is this a good location, is that a good location? But we're, we can be much more efficient if we put this data back together. But the goal is always to connect people and to have people work together. Ail, could you please share with us a little on the projects you're currently working on? Can you detail for us what's involved and what type of work goes into these projects? Yeah. So first, uh, first project I'm involved in is a, is a quite big European project where we have around 16 partners from all over Europe and we work together uh, to achieve what we call a semantic desktop. And let me first quickly describe how this, this collaboration works. Is we, we have partners from all over Europe, both universities and companies, and they are brought together. Uh, so we have uh, frequently meetings where we see each other and we discuss on mailing lists, we discuss on phone conferences and so on, where everybody does a small piece and we try to put this together and, and to bring together basically the, the brightest people in Europe on this, on this subject. And that's of course very interesting because you get to meet all these European people and, and you bring to, together all those people from Europe. Uh, now what, what the idea is about the semantic desktop is to take all this technology that we are working on is semantic web and apply it to your personal situation, to your personal desktop. And what happens is in the web we have all these sources, right? That we all these data sources that are separate from each other. Like we have uh, uh, apartment information or who wants to rent his apartment and we have map information, we have maybe weather information, we have flight information and we want to bring this all together. We want to combine all those websites. But actually the same we have on the desktop. So although it's all uh, our personal information, all this information is locked away in applications. So we have emails 
uh, for example, my friends telling me where they have been on holiday last time. Then I have pictures that I got from my friends. Maybe I download them, maybe they email me of their holiday uh, location. Then I have, uh, say, a blog, my personal blog posts with where I've been and what I've thought of this. And I, I have all this separate information. Maybe I have Word documents and so on. And now, whenever I need to do a task, it can be both for, for work or for, for personal. Whenever I need to do a task, I, I need to combine all this information, of course, from my desktop uh, and from the web. And the point is that I'm currently I always have to combine this information manually. So say I, I'm planning uh, going on a, on a trip with my girlfriend, and I want to figure out where I want to go. I want to figure out you know, what will the weather be like, what, is, what kind of places are there there to visit, what is the typical weather. So I, I want to pull up all this information that people sent me over the past years, like their emails of their... Uh, of their experiences there, their pictures, so that I know a little bit what this place is like, the weather information there, the airplane information, like how much does it cost to get there, and so on. And so I want to combine all this information that is already on my local PC. I just want to combine it and to see it in a sort of integrated way, so that I can decide easier uh, on which trip to go. And the same is, of course, for, for, for a work situation. So the point is we want to integrate all this, this data we have on our on our computer and I don't want to, to do it manually. I don't want to go in all the time and combine this in my head. I want the computer to combine it and to show me the, the integrated information. And that's what we're working on. Ail, thanks so much this afternoon for taking part in this video cast. I know your time is very valuable and I really appreciate your generosity and expertise. Meal of Wikus. Tough old servo. But nobody outside Ireland will understand what well, I said. So <laughs> 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 nobody will know I said uh, screw you all. <laughs> <laughs>